right, are living their best life. And when I say they're living their best life, they're living their life like it's golden. Living their life like it's golden. So, you know what I'm saying? So two conjoined twins, right? Living life. Now, one of them have a boyfriend. Now, we're here to talk about this. How does this work, right? Conjoined twins, 22-year-old Lupita and Carmen Andrade. Recent, I don't know if I'm saying their name right. Recently opened up, opened up, conjoined, open. Okay, opened up about what it's like to live their lives fused together. Get it? Open up, fused. Opened up about uh, living. I see what you guys did there. You know what I'm saying? And the common misconceptions about their dating lives and beyond. Right? The twins who were born in Mexico but grew up in Connecticut share a pelvis. A re- you guys get where you guys know, know where I'm getting, right? Okay. Share a pelvis, a reproductive system, a liver, and a bloodstream. They told Today.com. They each have one leg. Carmen controls the right one, and then the other girl controls the left one. It's not all rainbows and sunshine. We've had a lot of challenges, but we have a great life. We go to the movies, concerts, and we travel on airplanes. Living their life like it's golden. They explain that they never tried to have surgery that would separate them as it could be fatal for one or even both of them. So, they took their first, first steps and their four. Aw, right, yo, that, a round of applause for that. Aww. And then, they have a different bit of a different outlook on life. Carmen has a boyfriend named Daniel, while Lupita is asexual, right? So, when you read the headline, you go, what? But when you read into it, you go, oh. So asexual, a term used to describe someone who does not experience sexual attraction toward individuals of any gender. So, she don't, so, hold on. She don't, she don't fuck with anybody, right? So if that if that means if she don't fuck with anybody, Tupac, you're not allowed in the room, so stop. If she don't if she don't fuck with anybody, so then what does that mean? I'm trying to figure it out. If she don't fuck with anybody. If she don't fuck with anybody, then what does that mean? Cause oh does that mean technically that um one of them can so one of them actually feels do both of them? Because the bloodstream, right? So do both of them feel... When, so when he's... when he's Because fu- clearly they're having sex, right? But they share the pel- one pelvis. So, cl- so are, are they both feeling the sexual st- stimulation? You know what I mean? And if they are, does that technically make her a- asexual? Because she could just get it from the boyfriend. She doesn't really have to... You know what I'm saying? Like, if she really thinks about it, she can just... Or does one control the pussy? You know what I mean? The one who controls the right leg. Who, 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 who's the one that's asexual? There's one that's asexual, right? Carmen controls the right one, right? And Lupita is asexual. So Carmen... So, so whoever controls the right leg, that means can control... So that means Car- Carmen controls the pussy then. So she's... she's, she's <laughs> She controls the pussy then, and then, but like, I'm just, I'm curious, I got questions, like, this, like, when, when they have sex, does she feel anything? Besides, besides the vibrations off the pounding, whatever, tell me this, and another thing, this dude is a sick nigga, that's all I know, bro. To date, to, uh, okay, I'm sorry. I know as as I was talking about before, right? As we were talking about before, right? People that are disabled, they are human beings too, meaning that they also have, have want to have sex. They also all this other shit. But this dude is a sick nigga, bro. I don't care what anyone says. This is a sick Negro. I don't care what anyone says. This is a sick Negro. I don't care. I don't care what anyone says. Bro, there's no way. There's no freaking way that 
this nigga is like, yo, you know what? Like, I want to hit that. Because before, before you even, like, approach a girl, you, there's, there's that physical attraction that you have. What, what made you, I'm not even going to go there, but you guys know what I'm saying, right? What made you, like, so, like, yo, I'm, yo, I'm trying to get in that. <laughs> like, yo, holy. And then one of, one of them is not even down for anything. So, uh, you know, like, isn't that, like, awkward? That's awkward sex, too. Wouldn't that be awkward sex? Because one of them is asexual, meaning, like, to her, it's whatever. Like, she doesn't, she doesn't find anybody attractive, right? So she doesn't find anybody attractive. While they're having sex, was she reading a book on her phone? Like, you know what I'm saying? Does she go to sleep? Does she have to, like, does she take a pill? So she shut, that, that would be weird, too. I'm just saying, like, that's what I'm saying. He's a sick nigga, bro. Like, you have to be a sick nigga. How would you make that work is what I'm saying. I'm trying to figure out how you'd make that work. How could you make that work? They're both conjoined, one pelvis, right? One's asexual, so she's not even fucking with it. So then you're, when you're having sex with one, she's just going to be there staring at you on her phone, reading a book. Like, what, she's going to be asleep? That's just, and you're, you're just going to be doing your thing. It's going to be awkward. I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm just saying. There's all. There's always that physical attraction, and then maybe, maybe it was the complete reverse. Got to know them, and then as you got to know them, gain that physical trouble. I'm just saying, you are a sick nigga, figuring out how to make that work. 